YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's time to do an update on the Real McCoy's A2 leather jacket in seal brown. So let's get right into it. Right, first and foremost, you guys might be thinking, wow, Cameron, it's been two, nearly three years. That jacket must be aging beautifully well you're totally wrong because <laughs> honestly i think i think i don't know it looks very much the same as it was two or three years ago i'm going to tell you now these things are a hard puppy to crack they're hard to break in and i, I mean that i think that's pretty much what they're, they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be something that lasts you a very very long time so let's give you a bit of history on the jacket i bought this jacket in 2015 in japan from the real mccoy's store and i've been wearing it sparingly every now and then uh for a number of reasons one i can't really wear this to work it doesn't really go with my work attire and people just look at me really funny uh two my fiance absolutely hates it. I'm not even joking. If I put that on, she will refuse to go out anywhere with me with this on. So I can only really wear it when I'm going about doing my things, meeting up with friends at the pub, etc., etc. Since moving out to the country, as you may know, I don't live in London anymore. I wear it occasionally when the weather's you know right for it, but because I'm in the country, I wear more country jackets. I wear the Ironheart N1, so on and so forth. So, summarize all that, I don't really have many times to wear this. I do wear it around the house, I do wear it, you know, every now and then, but, you know, not, not as often as I, I want to. Now, I'm still gonna hold on to it, I still absolutely love it, and I'm determined, determined to, to make this jacket look like a vintage jacket, just, you know, just let it age gracefully and beautifully. You may remember in the first video, and I'll link it up above, it was my very first video on YouTube, mind you, uh, 20 minutes long, terrible, terrible video, me just rambling. Uh, you may remember I didn't like the jacket that much because I didn't like how the, it tapered, you know, kind of outwards. Uh, since then I've found, you know, unbuttoning the collar. Thank you, someone online gave me that tip. Uh, I, I unbutton the collar and it, it just is a bit more relaxing. I also love now wearing it with a hoodie. So when I go out, black hoodie like this, or a flannel or whatever. I just wear it with a few different things other than just a t-shirt and it, it looks really good. Still quite annoying though is no hand pocket. So that is a big downer. A lot of people are used to having hand warming pockets, but it's still a nice jacket to wear. Put your hands in your jean pocket, for instance. Uh, and it is softening up really nicely. Now I haven't treated it at all. I don't know if you're meant to. I don't have anything to treat it with. I literally just throw it on. I take it for dog walks. The dog mud gets all over it as well in some places. The dog's jumped up on me and there's a few scratches here and there. You'll see some places wearing, which is really, really interesting. So underneath the arms where I sit down, you'll see that some of those points are, are fraying. There's some scratches in certain areas uh, to and fro. But you know, other than that, this thing is absolutely built like a tank. One other thing about it is it's quite a comfortable jacket to wear. It really is, it does fit like a glove. The only time I find it doesn't get comfortable is when I'm sitting down. So not that you would, but sitting down on a sofa with this on, it is not comfortable. Same sometimes in some certain chairs uh, because you sit down, it's still so rigid that it pushes up. And if I haven't, especially if I haven't got a hoodie on, it pushes all of this stuff up into my neck and it's just, you know, it's not comfortable at all. Uh, I will say it's very warm. So I like I do, like I'm wearing now with a hoodie and taking this out when it's not N1 deck jacket or really, really cold weather uh, requirements it's you know autumn so right now fall uh, or, or spring it's just the perfect jacket to take out so the biggest ask i had from my previous video was how do i wear the jacket how do i style it because i know there's different ways you can go down wearing this there are other people that you see on instagram that are very prim and proper and they wear it really done up and they've got a massive fedora hat and all that kind of stuff but that's not for me i'm very much a casual kind of guy as you know from this channel so the ways I've been wearing this are as follows. The main one is with a hoodie. I love wearing this with a hoodie. It just sits so well. Uh, the hoodie is there to give it that more toned down look, but you still got a kind of a formal uh, leather jacket appeal to it. Secondly, I love wearing this with a flannel. Lately, I've been wearing it with this UES flannel and it just works so well. The flannel is so soft, but the UES flannel is 
it's warm, but it's it's thin enough to go under this. I have been trying to wear it with a ultra heavy flannel from Ironheart, but that's a little bit thicker and doesn't really go as well. It also depends on the flannel pattern, I think. That's why with the hoodie, it's black, it's dark, it just doesn't call attention to it. But UES flannel or any kind of thinner flannel really works well with this. The third way I've been wearing it is with a standard pullover. So the real McCoy's uh, loop wheel pullover in gray that you see here just with the with the jacket really really nice i mean the, the pullover is 10 ounce so that's a thick one but i also have been wearing it with this um mers b one as well and i just think it looks really good it's not, it keeps you warm underneath especially if you haven't got somewhere to put your hands at least your your body is staying warm um, as well and you can always just wear it with a t-shirt but as i said in the beginning haven't really been wearing it just plain with a t-shirt uh, I, I find i've gotten used to wearing something underneath it now so when i throw it on with a t-shirt it actually feels quite big the, the jacket honestly so i like having something underneath so one way i do want to style it and i don't have this yet but i would love to get another pullover that is lighter in color so the ues or the ues uh, pucker Pacara, i think it is a sweatshirt in oatmeal it's a really light color like an ivory type color that underneath this would look amazing i've seen some people uh, wearing it online uh, in terms of uh how i don't really style it i never really wear it done up like I have done it up when I've been out with it and it's gotten really cold or it started raining uh, just for, you know, just so I don't get cold. But uh, it's not, I don't find it really comfortable when it's done up, if I'm honest with you. It just, and I don't think it looks that good as well, uh, from my style that is. Now also on the bottoms, I know you can really wear this and it sort of looks good with lighter colored uh, jeans, trousers, whatever. You could wear it with some mustard colored trousers from, or jeans from Samurai, for instance, I've got some, uh, but I have been purely just wearing this with either my black denim uh, or my indigo denim, really. I just wear it with, with all of that. But honestly, I'd really love to know what you guys think. So drop a comment down below and let me know how you think this uh, looks good. You know, if I had my time again, I probably, I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy it. I'd probably buy a flathead. A leather jacket. I do know that I want a leather jacket in my wardrobe and I've got one so there's no use you know selling it or going and buy another, another one just yet. I'm still committed to this one. I, st I still really enjoy it. I love the smell of it. I, I didn't mention that but honestly when, it, when, I, when you put it on if you've tried one of these on the smell or any leather jacket that is really good. Put on the smell is just incredible. So I, I love this jacket. I'm gonna keep trying at it and I really like wearing it as it is. Hopefully the fiance comes around though, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Have I made a mistake? Do you think it looks good? I really like to know if you guys think it looks good, to be honest, because one of the big things is when I go out with it, sometimes I feel a bit like, uh, you know, if, if my fiance thinks it looks stupid, then what other people think? So it'd be good to know what you guys think. So drop a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more on the leather jacket side of things, let me know in the comments. And guys, I know there's like 80% of you that haven't subscribed to the channel. So please hit the red button because it helps me produce content like this. Uh, and you know, I hope you enjoy it. So hit that red button. Well, that being said, have a great day and stay tuned next week where we go through my Ironheart N1, which my fiance has managed to break. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that.